Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 11th of November, coming today from the banks of the Bosphorus in Istanbul in Turkey. But these are the Cornish news headlines. Congratulations are in order for Cornwall councillor Cherilyn McCrory, who has been selected as the Conservative Party candidate for the general election in the Truro and Falmouth constituency. She's only been at County Hall for a couple of years, but managed to beat off several other councillors to win the nomination. The official close of nominations for all candidates is later this week. There seem to be more problems for Cornwall's spaceport partner, Richard Branson, whose rocket is not only stuck on the ground in California, it now seems unlikely to go anywhere this year. And Cornwall Reports also has news of the Wadebridge by-election, won by independent Robin Moorcroft. Now you know that there is an election on when the candidates find their social media history from several years ago coming back to haunt them. The BBC is among those who have raked up the unfortunate Twitter posts of North Cornwall's Liberal Democrat, Danny Chambers. He's apologised if his sense of humour caused offence. Pirate FM tells us there are more than 12,000 former servicemen and women still of working age in Cornwall. The Buden Stratton Post covered a cliff rescue at Boscastle. The Falmouth Packet looks forward to the redevelopment of Pydar Street in Truro. The Cornish Times says that things are getting better at Callington Community College. And finally, Cornwall Live is excited about snow. Well, I get excited about snow too, but I don't think there's going to be any in Turkey, at least not today. I'll be travelling tomorrow, so there's no news briefing then. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.